Hi, this is Jason Chanko for Regal Technologies. We're going to perform a little experiment today using one of our spectrum analyzers, the DSA-1030A, and one of our arbitrary waveform generators, the DG4000-4162 uh, in this particular case. And we're going to use my cell phone and two fancy antennas with a custom cable that we made uh, in order to do a little FM modulation and transmission and then uh, demodulation using the spectrum analyzer. So what we're going to do, again, uh, I made a special cable. This is a 50 ohm terminated BNC and then I just went to a three and a half millimeter audio jack. I'm gonna connect that to the back of the arbitrary waveform generator. It has a modulation input and then I'm going to connect that to my cell phone here. So I'm going to pause that. Little Bob Dylan. Let's flip that over. Okay, so now to the arbitrary waveform generator. Uh, we're going to do an FM modulation, so the uh, carrier is going to be a sine wave, and let's make it 100 megahertz. So 100 megahertz. So that's going to be our carrier. Now we're going to enable modulation, and with the DG4000 series we have a number of modulation styles that we can work with. I'm going to select Type, FM Modulation, and as you may recall from uh, FM Modulation or uh, Radio Transmission, the frequency is going to modulate by the audio input that we have. So I've selected the uh, FM, so again the frequency, that carrier frequency is going to modulate. And instead of using the source internal, we're going to have it connected to an external source, so we can select external. And then our deviation, or how far that carrier frequency is going to change. Here in the U.S., typically a radio station is 150 kilohertz or less. So we'll type in 150 kilohertz. And we're all set with the arbitrary waveform generator. Again, I'm going to connect a, an antenna, and then I can enable the output. And now, what we can do, uh, actually, take a look here, the deviation, yeah, 150 kilohertz, and sine 100 megahertz, and our amplitude is 5 volts. We should be okay there. And now I'm going to go over to the spectrum analyzer. And with the spectrum analyzer, again, I'm, I have the same type of antenna connected to an adapter. This is an N-type to a BNC adapter attach that to the RF input and you'll see we have quite a bit quite a bit going on. We're picking up lots of radio uh, radio stations here um, but you'll see I'm going to disable the output on the function generator and then I'm going to enable it and turn it off and you can see it down here. So we're doing a full spectral scan here. Um, so this is from 0 to 3 gigahertz with this particular model. What I want to do is uh, shorten, I want to uh, focus in on that 100 megahertz area. So we're going to change our center frequency to 100 megahertz. Now you can see, uh, uh, now I will disable and enable and you can see the signal coming on. And now let's change the span a little bit. Let's, uh, let's zoom in a bit. One way is to adjust the span that way. Another way you can hit the span uh, and do something like 100 megahertz. And we could take the front, uh, to the peak center frequency. And again, well, let's make the span uh, 50 megahertz. We'll just widen it out just a touch. And again, we, if we turn off the RF generator, we'll turn it back on again. So I'm going to turn my music on the phone. should be all set. And now what we can do is demodulate that input. So the with the as a standard option with the DSA or standard feature, we can press demod, turn the demod on to FM. Then we want to set it up uh, we can turn the speaker on. And you can hear it's going very, very uh, rapidly. It's scanning at 10 milliseconds or demodulating in 10 or 100 milliseconds. If we put that up to a larger value, let's say 10 seconds, So, the uh, and you can hear Bob Dylan in the background. The uh, the cell phone is now, or that music, that audio file is now modulating that FM output for the DG4000. It's being demodulated or transmitted to the spectrum analyzer, demodulated in the spectrum analyzer, and then we're also playing it back out through a speaker. So it's a, a nice little demonstration of RF transmission, a little bit about FM and FM de demodulation, uh, and a pretty easy demo to do at home. So.